Good morning, Basil Babes. I hope you're having a good morning thing because you know how your day turns out. It's really up to you. You don't give people power to dictate how your day is, but sometimes I'm sorry, I can't help it. You hear all those words, but it's like, it's not helping me today. I just have an attitude. I know I don't want to give them control, but the control is taking over my body and the attitude has set in. I didn't mind dropping my daughter off this morning because it was what I wanted to do. I was up anyway because I already told you I already have a sleeping disorder. It's called the kid sleeping disorder. Ever since the first one was born, I never slept through the night. So it's been 16 years on top of being a single parent. Even though I was married part of the time, it was still like I was a single parent because all the responsibility was on me taking care of the kids, breastfeeding the kids. I breastfed Clinton until he was two years old. I wonder if that worked at all, because he crazy as a bed bug, just like me. Mm. And so, I haven't slept since 2001. Good Lord. So that's why I'm always tired. Anytime I hear a noise, I wake up. Anytime I hear a creak, I wake up. Even when I go to sleep, I wake up to check the dough. Especially when you're a single mom. Like, did somebody leave out the dough and they didn't lock it? Or did I lock the door? Maybe let me go and check again. Because you know, I got that bat right next to my bed. I wish somebody would. It just doesn't work for me anymore. That's why I'm always tired. I think I may average about four hours of sleep a night. Mm -hmm. The day they were born, sleep went right out the window. It said, bye-bye. You will never sleep again. It probably started in my ninth month of pregnancy because I couldn't get comfortable at all. Someone said, that's God's way of preparing you for no more sleep for the rest of your life. You have a baby, you get pregnant, say bye-bye to sleep. Mm -hmm. Sleeping pills don't even work for me. This sleep disorder is gangsta. It's like, you're not going to sleep. Or you will sleep an hour and you will wake up on time at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 5. Hello? Wake up time. Mm -hmm. It's never late. It's always on time. That sleep disorder clock wakes me up every time. It's time to get up now. You've slept for 30 minutes. Your time is up. Get up. Didn't you hear that creak? Didn't you hear a sound? Didn't you hear the kid call? Do they have a cold? Are they sick in the middle of the night? You better go check on them right away. Child, I go into their room. They just is sleeping, just as sound. I also think it started too because Sydney, that's kid number three. She used to have febrile seizures when she was a little baby. Just when she would get a fever, she would have a seizure. You outgrow it, it's fine. The, and the first time she had a seizure, it freaked me out, which heightened my sleep disorder. So anytime I would hear noise, I'm thinking she having a seizure. See, it's still part of the kid PTSD. I think I still suffer from that too. Cause sometimes it's a repetitive noise that you hear. So I'm always like this. I may not see well, but I can hear well. I may not remember well, but I can hear well. That's why I'm always tired, but that's okay. I got a few more years, but wait, even when they're 18, they still gonna be calling and want some. I know what's coming. It's not gonna be the end at 18. It's just not gonna be the end. Mm -hmm. Anyway, another reason why I don't sleep well, cause you know we have this new house, right? My bedroom dome is right next to the stairs that leads to the area where they have raves every night, the big parties, where I won't show you upstairs. I'll stick with the downstairs. So the kids come down at 5.30 in the morning. There's carpet on the stairs, so maybe it's supposed to muffle that sound. Mm -mm. It doesn't muffle nothing with those Basil kids. It's terrible. I wake up every day at 5.30. Remember that sleep disorder I told you about? It said, it's time to wake up. The kids are awake. Now, if I happen to go back to sleep, child, when they start their party in the kitchen and start cooking and stuff, the smells wake me up. And you know I'm a vegan this week. So any type of smell, that good maple sausage and bacon that they have to make every morning, 
that doesn't help me at all. So those smells come right up to this nose right here every morning and wakes me up. So if it's not the noise, it's the smell. And when a kid chooses to wake up because they can't sleep, they automatically say, Mama, Ma, Ma, what you doing? Don't it look like I was trying to sleep? So next thing you know, when a child can't sleep, they want their sleep disorder to become my disorder. I don't make my sleep disorder their disorder, so why do they have the nerve to come down and make their disorder my disorder? I don't share my disorder with them, so it's not fair. It's not eye for an eye. Hmm. When you sleep, I'm extra quiet because I don't want to wake you up because I want my time. I like to reclaim my time the best way I can, so I'm extra quiet. Why can't you be extra quiet when I'm asleep? Repay the favor, but no, it doesn't work that way. Ma, my nose is running. You know where the toilet paper is. We use toilet paper for our nose. Just get some, blow your nose and go back to sleep. And don't worry about waking me up out of my sleep to let me know that your nose is running. What I'm going to do about that at 2 o'clock in the morning? Nothing. And if I'm taking you to the doctor, you better be on your deathbed. So no, I don't run to the doctor for a runny nose. You run to the bathroom to get the toilet paper, not go back to sleep. So I can try to go back to sleep. Why we got to share our disorders? You keep your disorder and I'll keep mine. We keep them separate. Because then when you start to bring your disorder on and over to my disorder, you make my disorder worse. That's even less sleep for me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm hungry. I guess I'm going to eat some more of that Alfredo sauce because I still got a little left. Yep, I've been eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because my sleep disorder has made me not want to cook. It has made me want to stay in bed, to try to go to sleep. I just can't seem to escape the sleep disorder. It follows me. I'm just tired, but he's always there. I just won't go to the night night 